Well, look at that sunset. That's pretty, ain't it? Oh, this morning I had to get up and get the trailer ready and oh, run a couple hours to get the metal. So I'm a little bit behind. Y'all saw yesterday I got the oh, lath on and uh, and the fascias and all. And uh, anyway, I had a couple hour drive, 64 sheets of metal, and I got it all on in five hours today. So not too bad. I think there's almost 4,000 screws. Let me tell you, I was burning the handle out of that little old drill. Coming on with it, though. Show you all this side right here. It's looking really good. You got 64 sheets of metal. Anyway, I think it turned out really good. Everything just worked out perfect. That ain't too bad, is it, folks? Anyway, y'all hang in there. We're going to get some more stuff done. Going to try to get some uh, sheathing on the side tomorrow. And uh, I'll post something on that. We ain't going to try. We're probably going to get it all on there in just a little bit. Got Pop pepping me tomorrow, so maybe Hannah. So we'll get it done. Whew, let me tell you, my old back's sore from <laughs> leaning over. I have put some screws in today. Y'all hang in there. We're going to get this bad boy built. There it is, folks. Got her blacked in, got the roof on it, got the sides on it. Gonna put one baits on the outside. I'll do another video. I'll keep y'all up on that right there. Didn't cut the wind and door holes out. Didn't want it though. Didn't want the wind blowing in because it's, it's fixing to get rough today. You're supposed to have some bad weather today and tonight. Fixing to head to the uh, NWTF, you know, that up in Nashville. And figured I'd get y'all caught up on a video real quick. Got the shower. In this room, got that little wall built, been putting in dead wood, you know, something they'll sheetrock to. Got the uh, tub, got it put in, had to cut some studs to get it in there, but we got it in there and uh, coming on with it. You gotta check out the front door right there. You gotta get a little creative every now and then. And yeah, Hannah had a little something to do with that, so uh, I thought it turned out really good. <laughs> Oh, and you just fit right through it when you're walking, so it's perfect. Get y'all outside, look at it. Yeah, it's gonna look good. Get that siding on it. It's gonna be sharp, y'all. Gonna be sharp. Big pretty gable. Turned out really good. Everything's just it's really been awesome. Appreciate y'all. All right, just got back in a while ago, coming here and got all the cutouts on the windows and doors and everything, got that ready to uh, go in and install the windows and doors tomorrow and start on the side and hopefully. Uh, just talked to the uh, heating and cooling guy and uh, my plan originally was to put the, the uh, return air right here in the ceiling, right here in this little hallway. That way it's right here close to the, you know, the biggest part of the house, which is the living room and kitchen, which is right here. Oh, I'm going to drop this ceiling down across here. I'm going to run a 12-foot 2 6 on every one of these and drop that ceiling down so it'll come up at that angle, flatten off, and then, and then down on the rake on this side. That's going to give him enough room to run his trunk all the way across to the other side and catch those rooms, that master bedroom, bathroom, walk-in closet, mudroom, and all that on that side. Flex duck will come down and catch this saw. Catch the kitchen in the living room off the main trunk that's going to go right through the center right here. Spray foam the uh, tin, the bottom of the tin. We're just going to spray foam all of that right there. Seal that up really good. Uh, I was talking to him about the, you know, doing the walls too, and he said, in this climate, oh, it's not cost efficient. He said, it's just, you could, you could put fiberglass bats in the wall and it's going to be, you know, it's going to be fine. He said, the main thing is going to be that ceiling. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll spray foam that right there and uh, get the plumbing and the wiring and the HVAC all roughed in and then of course start on uh, sheetrock. But while they're getting all that done, I'm gonna be working on this siding out here, getting that, getting all this siding hung on the outside. It's gonna be one by eight, so I'll get y'all a video on that. That's what we're about to start. Uh, I should start on that tomorrow after I get the windows and all hung. Start hanging, uh, hanging siding on the outside. One bait, or uh, yellow pine. Anyway, let me get my hand in to work. I'll holler at y'all later.
All right, got the windows and doors installed. Got the uh, shims around the door jams, you know, to make them good and secure, solid. Of course, three inch screws on all that right there. Even installing the windows, I use three inch screws, so <laughs> you ought not to tear them out. Oh, still lacking the hurricane clips. Gonna work on that later. Gonna wait for a rainy day to do that right there. Right now, I'm fixing to start putting the siding on. Oh, about to go back to the shop and cut some uh, trim to go around the windows and stuff. Oh, one baits are ready, sitting on the low, so uh, fix to start on that pretty quick. Y'all hang in there, and we'll make a show, and I'm hoping. All right, quick update this morning before I get cranked up, busted all fired up, I'm ready to rock and roll again this morning. <laughs> it's Friday, y'all. I tell you, been another week. Oh. That's the one by eights that you saw me cutting on the meal right there. They've been drying, they're cured out, everything's good. Oh, let me go through this with you. I'm gonna spray foam all the cracks on the corners, cap that with a one by six. I'm gonna caulk around the windows and then trim that out with a one by four all the way around. We'll have a piece of metal at the top over each window, you know, in case that rain blows, hits the side and comes down, it won't pool up. I'll do a video on that and show you how we're going to do that. But uh, it's coming on really good. Thought I'd get y'all caught up this morning before I got fired up. Whew. Let me tell you, those one baits look good. Lapped them over an inch. All that is is just a flat board and just lapped it over one inch. So I've got a seven inch reveal on each board. Looking good. I'm going to start on that front right there pretty quick and uh, get it finished up and then get on the back, the back porch, get it finished up. The gable in on the other side's real super tall, so uh, waiting on Hannah to get back and that way she can run the lull because the lull will have to run the whole time while I'm up there. Pop will be cutting and I'll be putting it up. I think we've got five, five or six 25 pound boxes of screws in the house so far. And, uh, yeah, fixing to start on another one. Putting everything up with three-inch screws, and then that way we don't have to worry about anything buckling or turning or twisting or popping loose or anything like that. And if they do, then it's uh, not going to be a problem to back a screw out, you know, back a couple screws out and replace that board or whatever if something does happen when them cracks or whatever. Going to leave it natural for a while. And then uh, don't know about trim color. Don't know about stain color. Don't know exactly what we're going to do on this right here. Won't be long. We'll be plumbing, wiring, spray foaming, heating and cooling, sheet rocking. I mean, we're going to go through the whole nine yards, so y'all just hang in there. But it's, it's going to be a beautiful home. Beautiful home. Anyway, hope y'all enjoying the videos. Appreciate y'all.